Most mechanics, people, technicians in the field of repairing vehicles, especially in the field that I have experience in diesel, believe that you're too dumb, the general public, to fix your own vehicles. For a long time, that's been true for a lot of reasons, gatekeeping being one of them. Guys don't want to give up the thing that they make uh, a living with uh, for free. Um, this whole channel, I'm going to give everything away that I've amassed in the 20 plus years, two decades of diesel work and 15 plus years of automotive electrical specialist work. I own my own business. I am fully certified and qualified by Cummins and several other engine brands and I've been to their schooling particularly and certified entire dealerships under my promotion number. Um, for the last four years I've been able to specialize in just that one thing performing these labors for people at a cost of $100 an hour. So, um, what I'm going to show you is uh, testing sensors, testing computers, testing circuits, understanding circuits, and a lot of these things people believe that you, the general public, couldn't get because it does require some um, background information as far as how things work, the theory of operation, so to speak. So what I've done here in this channel, and this is a studio I built next to my house, is I've built an electrical demonstration board in order to show you the flow of electrical on simple circuits to include a headlamp, a keyed ignition, starter, glow plugs, some fuses, some relays, all the switches and the interplay between accessory relays and what feeds what. And by the time we're done here, all of you will have a working knowledge of how to do these things. But my, the thing that you're going to end up paying for is this, this, this stuff here. Troubleshooting sensors, communicating with computers. Some of those things you don't need to buy the computer. You don't need to know how to use it. Um, if you know how to use a multimeter and the theory of how they put the circuit together, you can, with this specific multimeter, the Fluke 233A, you have the capacity to use it as a handheld dyno in a lot of ways that I don't know that a lot of guys are using, but I'm going to show you how uh, I use it, and hopefully it's of some benefit to you. So, I'm going to strap on a GoPro for the rest of it because you kind of need to see exactly what my hands are doing and right in front of me, but I'll do the intro for these uh, in person, and once again, I appreciate you coming, and um, I'm sure I can provide the value that is going to remove you from having the need to pay someone else to do your work. Real quick note here. I was a young Marine, and I was in North Carolina. My father bought a vehicle and drove it all the way down to North Carolina for me. Immediately afterwards, the windows quit working, the power windows. Two years, I sweat like a hero slave inside of that Mercury Cougar. And uh, one day, a sergeant of mine popped the hood, jumped a relay, and the window went down, and I believe that man was magical. So what I'm trying to c convey to you is that it's not magic, it's information. And a lot of people, even in shops, aren't willing to give this information to the younger people who haven't been privy to those kinds of schools and aren't doing that kind of work. And there's a specific reason. A lot of times guys don't want to give up the thing, those tickets on the board that are benefiting them, but they are the only ones who have the information to fix that kind of a job. And the same thing can be said for the customer who has a diesel pickup, who's, you know, many of you are so uh, clearly capable of doing a lot of things on your vehicles. What I think that anyone would struggle with is trying to solve problems for which you've never seen how they built how they built it. So there's only a, a few ways that you can wire electrical and we're going to go over all of them. This is say a hard wiring here, we're going to get into multiplexing and, and more advanced stuff but I want to make sure that the content that I produce is of real high value and then I give you um, what it is that I charge other people for. The idea here is that if you do it for yourself you'll save money and if you do it for someone else, you can increase your uh, profitability based on y your ability to do bigger jobs and so, or even specialize. So we're going to go over um, some of the tools and stuff in other videos, but right now I'll cut away and we'll do the sensors. So what we're going to do today is one, two, and three wire sensors. I will do them in three different edits, um, or three different complete videos, so that you can focus on one and there'll be, you know, maybe two to three minutes each. Okay, thank you.